Hi, my name is Jessie, and today I'm going to be showing you our new performance model wizard, new to uh, SDK 12.8 in our Aviator window. So if you're familiar at all with Aviator, you'll notice that there's this new icon here to the right of our performance model icon. So typically when you're setting up your performance model, you would click on this yellow folder, and this would give you your list of your performance models that you can click through and change the properties of. However, with Aviator, we understand that there's a pretty steep learning curve when it comes to these performance models. So with that, we wanted to create a simple tool for our beginner level users to work through these performance models and get a better understanding of what they actually are. So I'm gonna close out of this and open up our new performance model wizard. So if I click on this new performance model wizard button, you'll notice that it'll bring me to this new window where you can give the aircraft model name as well as the performance model name. However, right now I'm selected on a built-in model. So if I were to click Use Currently Selected Aircraft, you'll notice that it will not allow me to do so since you can't modify built-in performance models. So I'm just gonna go ahead and give my performance model a unique name. So I'll just call it My Aircraft. And I'll go ahead and click Create. Now you'll notice that on the left-hand side, we have our list of performance models, as you typically would see. But you also see that there is a unique description of the performance model at the top of your window, as well as the different acceleration strategies in this case. So if I click on simple or basic fixed wing, you'll notice that the description on the right-hand side changes. So this gives users the ability to gain some confidence when going through these performance models and actually understand what you're changing and what the effects have on your flight profile. So I'll stick with my simple acceleration strategy and click Next. And now the performance model wizard will walk you through the different options that you can change within your performance model. So for example, say I wanted to increase the number of Gs I could bring this up to two, and that will save as I click Next and go through my different acceleration performance model windows. So I'll click Next again, just keeping these properties as is. And then once we're finished up with the acceleration performance model, it'll take you to the next option. So again, same thing, we'll see a unique description of the performance model at the top as well as our various options for the performance model with a unique description on the right-hand side. So I'll just stick with my basic model, and I'll kind of just click through some of these. You'll also notice that, say I would tried to give this a negative altitude, and click Next. You'll notice that there are also errors built into this performance model wizard in which, for example, this one tells me that my altitude must be greater than or equal to zero. So I'll click OK and it'll set it back to a realistic value for me. But let's go ahead and put this altitude around 10,000 feet and click Next. And now I'll just walk you through the last few so we can see how this actually comes into play later on. So again, clicking through, able to change these properties. We have our landing model, and then finally our takeoff model. And now you'll notice when you get to the end, that next button changes to a finish button. But say you wanted to go back, review your changes, or maybe make some changes, you can always use the back button to go back and make some changes at the end as well. But let's go ahead and finish. And now where these changes actually come into play is if I go back into that performance model button, you'll notice that I now have this My Aircraft Performance Model for each of my performance models. And you'll notice that those changes that are made are implemented as well. So for example, my climb ceiling altitude is now 10,000 feet. And then you'll also notice within your phases that this is implemented as well. So you can see that your aircraft is using the new My Aircraft Performance Model 
for each of our options. And that is our new performance model wizard built into SDK 12.8. And that's it. Thanks for watching.